Hello, lovelies. Another video. I'm coming at you with a review video from uh, some of the Born Pretty products that I got so you guys can see what I got for how much. I will link everything in the description box. Please excuse my frizzy hair. Uh, we did a nice strawberry blonde and then the sun has bleached it out so I'm no longer a blonde anymore or that lovely pink before. Um, okay, so uh, first thing that I'm going to show you guys is I did get a set of brushes. As I mentioned in my vlog video, um, I had a friend of mine who was so kind as to um, purchase some stuff for me in support of me starting my channel, so got those. Um, I got two UV top coats. I got a CH Neal top coat, which I have not messed with yet. I took the packaging out of it. It came in a really pretty box. Um, the one that I have on my nails right now, which is a Alina. This is the one I did use, and I've got some good and bad feelings about this. Um, as you can see, given my particular mixture, at glance, it looks white, but if you look at my nail, I don't know if you guys can see this. Not a really good shot. Let me pick up my camera. Oh my god. Okay. If you guys can see, there's a clear difference here between where my powder is and where my top coat is. Okay. This particular top coat, um, if you are doing something that you want a golden base to or you want um, a yellowish color, like if you're already using yellow glitter or a yellow pigment or a yellow powder, um, this is great it doesn't tint at all but if you're doing anything like a pale pastel color that is not yellow or white this gives a yellow discoloration that um, I do not particularly care for um, it comes in a 0.5 fluid ounce bottle it is quite thick um, it cures quickly um, it's very strong so like I said if you're doing something with a yellow tone to it fantastic strong great but if you're doing anything else I would not recommend this product for it it just it gives a, a yellow tinge that I don't care for it almost reminds me of when I had acrylics one time and I had not gotten my set changed out in a quite a long time and it started to turn yellow and really nasty color gross so um not pleasant at all. Um, let's see. Something else that came in the gift mail. Um, I got these cute little acrylic molds. This one's got some goldfish in it. And you just put your acrylic, you take a bead of your acrylic and you put it inside there. You let it set uh, long enough for it to not look glossy. And then you just roll it on and you have 3D nail art. Uh, she got me hearts. Help if I put it right way. Hearts and then goldfish. So that was adorable. Uh, she also got me this uh, set of colored acrylic powder to play with. Um, you use these a lot in uh, 3D sculpting flowers and stuff. The levels of the powder in this vary. Like this one. You can see there's barely anything in it. And some of these other ones look like there's quite a bit more. So it's it's a hit or miss with this. Um, personally, I'm going to start mixing my own mica powders, but you know, the pots will be useful once we're done. Here you go. This will be a good judgment. All right, you can see how You can see how little came in this one, but how much came in these others. So, kind of got gypped on this pale pink up here. Um, now, a style that me and Nikki love, or at least I see her use a lot and I love it, 
is an edge style nail. These are very different, they're very out there. And I scoured eBay, I scoured Amazon. I found some on Amazon, but they didn't come in the quantity package that was worth the price. Born Pretty uh, is a 500 piece set. And that means that anything that's left over, you can use for practice nails. Um, but got those, and I haven't played with these yet. Uh, what I used was the stilettos, which this is the clear stiletto. And it doesn't look long, but once you get it on your finger, this gives you guys an idea. That's how much I cut off. So, uh, those also come in a pack of 500. Um, and then I just got some standard square tips. So, um, that is, I believe, all for the, um, Born Pretty store stuff. Like I said, I will leave a link to everything below in the description box. It, description, description box. Um, also, I will leave a link to Nikki's channel and the Facebook pages. So, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week.